Hey guys, welcome to another video. It's Melissa here from Bricks on the Loose, and today I'm going to show you how to get wood fast. Um, I'm going to start a series on how to get things fast, because as humans we want to accomplish things as fast as possible, and as efficient efficiently, so I'm going to tell you how to do that. So, so, I wanted to do a test, like, so I had some proof to show you guys, instead of just telling you what's faster, I actually tested it. So what I did is I made a spruce tree, these are with the spruce saplings, a four, on a 4 by 6 area, so 1, 2, 3, 4... Two, three, four, five, six. I filled these all up with saplings, and I grew them all and cut them down. And that took me about four, four and a half minutes to cut down, and I got this much wood. So you can get a lot of wood this way. So four and a half minutes to get this. So with that four and a half minutes, I went, I loaded a new world to a forest, and I set my timer for four and a half minutes, and I got this much wood. So as you can see, if we actually line this up across the top, like we did in the other one. That's a lot less wood than this. So, of course, cutting down spruce trees this way is the fastest way to get wood. Now, a lot of people like the look of oak wood the best because it has these planks and it's just, it matches in a house better. But, I mean, it depends on your building, too. So, if, we, if you want just wood, I suggest going to a spruce tree and making a spruce tree. I like this size. Of course, the bigger you have it, the longer it's going to take, but the more efficient it is. I just like having this. This size is good for me. So you want to start at a corner with your bone meal. Right click until it grows, like so. Right click. Just hold down right click. Do it from the corners, because if I if I grow it here, it could grow a tree with these four saplings. So make sure you grow here so it uses up those four, if that makes sense. Then you want to get an ender pearl. An ender pearl. This is, I'm on creative, so I can't ender pearl. But you just ender pearl to the top and cut down the tree. So, there are some important things I would like to point out. Efficiency 5 Axe does a lot of good for you. It helps a lot. When you enchant, you can't get an Efficiency 5 pick, so what you have to do is grab a normally enchanted pick. This one happens to have Unbreaking 3 and Efficiency 4. Grab an Efficiency 4 book, combine them, and you get Efficiency 5. So I have an Efficiency 5 pick here. So, that's what I like to use. So you fly the top and just cut it down. With this method, you get about the same amount of saplings that you used. So I tested this out myself as well, and I got, um, well, 4 times 6. I got 24 saplings back out of this. Because they're combined, you get less leaves per tree, but you still do get enough on average, which is about 24. So that's perfect. So you just sit here. I'm not going to cut down this whole tree because that would be boring. But this is how you cut down the tree. And this is how you get the most wood. But let me go back into creative. And now, after I um, went through how to get the most wood the fastest, let me explain how to cut down each tree the best way. So spruce saplings, that is how you cut down spruce saplings for the best effect. Oak saplings, I like going to a forest and just cutting it down, just going through it and cutting it down. I find that one of the fastest ways. Another way is to line them up in a line like this. Oops. So this is another way I like to do it. And then you just stand here and... Do that. The only problem is it's, they're lower, so it's harder. Sometimes it blocks your view, but it does work. It take, does take a lot of bone meal. You just go like this across the whole line. See, that one went in my face. You have to like move. That one went in my face too. Hope you don't get any big ones. And then you just go through like this and cut it down. This is another fast way to get oak wood. Okay, so the next one is the birch sapling. So like the oak, you can just line it up in a line as long as you want. Oh no, this is not good. Let me just get rid of these, because if there's grass around it, it doesn't grow. But just go like this in a line. Oh no! No, there, there we go. And you can cut it down. Warning, sometimes a birch tree can go too tall for you to reach the top block from the ground. So what I like to do um, sometimes is just cut off these, jump on here, and then cut off the rest. I am on creative, that's why I could cut it that fast. But I like going like this just to ensure that you can reach the top, and then later you can just chop off the bottom. So that is how you do birch trees. The next tree is the jungle tree. So what I like to do for this tree is go to a jungle, or just plant them your own like this, get your bone meal, right click and grow it. Then you want to ender pearl to the top, which can be tricky, but once you get enough experience, you can start to get the hang of it. So I just fly up here because I'm on creative, get my axe, and just chop it down. Now jungle wood is the ugliest of all of them, I would say, but in case you ever want jungle wood, this is the way to do it. Uh, make sure you get these leaves, the ones in the leaves, because if you don't, the leaves will stay up there forever and bug you if you're OCD. 
next tree is acacia. So what you want to do, these are probably the hardest trees to get the wood from, just because they're, uh, you can't grow them side by side and stuff like that. So basically, I just stand at the bottom and chop them. Again, uh, I could reach that because I was on creative, and creative you have farther reach. But on survival, I couldn't have reached that. So what I like to do is stand on this block. Always keep the bottom block of the tree there, so that it's kind of like a stool, a step stool for you to get onto the... To, so you can reach the rest. That's what I was trying to say. Let's get another one up here. So again, that one up there is probably too high for me to reach on survival. So I just cut them off, leave this as a, like a stool, and reach. It is still even too tall for um, on creative, so I just place another block and reach it. So yeah, that's how you do acacia trees. Okay, the next tree is dark oak sapling, so I like to put them in a pattern like this. Uh, it doesn't really matter how big, you can do bigger, but for example, I'll just do this size. You want to grow them, like so. And then just, I, I don't bother ender pearling to the top really, sometimes I do, it depends. But I also, for this tree, for some reason I like making a stairs up around it. Like so. Getting to the top this way. I don't know, I just make a stairs throughout it and then just start chopping. Uh, these, yeah. That's pretty much all I can say. I do, like, my absolute favorite way to get this wood is to go to actually a biome, like one of these, the forests, the roofed forests, I believe they're called, and chop them down that way. Uh, that's just my favorite way to get these trees, but if you want to do them in, like, a plains or something, you can lay them out like this. Two by four is the best way I like to do it, but you can pick. So if your tree isn't growing, look for blocks around it. It does need, trees do often need a lot of space around and above. Uh, grass can mess it up, even for these trees. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any more questions, please leave a comment in the se comment section below. If this helped you in any way, please leave a thumbs up, because thumbs up really helped me. It gets my video out there. And of course, subscribe, because that helps me a ton. And you can see more videos like these, or my more survival games, or mini games with friends. I don't know, it just, you can have an awesome time on my channel. So, again, thanks so much for watching. Have an awesome day, and see you guys later. Bye! No, I don't yet. I like it when you get a there's... level for killing someone. Like, that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. It makes me feel all good inside. All good inside. I killed someone. Yay, right. me. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> exactly. I'll just sit in this pew over here right. and listen to the sermon due to my fact that I killed people. Whoa, Sector 6? Oh, sector 6. <laughs>